Now you'll want to color each part of yours in, okay? And to do so, you'll start in the front, and I don't want to accidentally color on this one, this middle ground one. So what I did is I flipped it open, and I, oops, began uh, coloring this space, okay? And then to color the next one, I need to close it up because this would have been actually the wrong place. I need to color this space right here. So now I'm going to just open it up and begin coloring that space, okay? And I'm gonna be, uh, I wanna try and make one, each one a little bit different from the other to show the difference between the foreground, the middle ground, and the background. And so maybe I'll have some stripes of this second color and then I'm ready for the next one. Oh, but that's not the right place. I need to close it up and then I can see this would be the right place. So I'm gonna do something uh, different. Maybe I'll have little tufts of grass on this one. And I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom. It doesn't really have to take all that much time. Okay, so fill that in. And then I'm ready to color the next area. So I'm gonna close it up and I might even have an idea of what I wanna change about it. But I can see this is my last area that I need to color in. And so I'm gonna flip it open and then I can begin uh, doing that step, okay? So you are going to color yours in so that you have colored the grass of your foreground, middle grounds, as well as your backgrounds. Have fun, and you need to just do that on one paper.